<laughs> All right, today's Thursday. It is March 9th, the day after Tim Cobbett's birthday. Shout out Tim Cobbett. He sent me a nice Facebook message. He, rem he remembered your birthday. He remembered my birthday and he said the same thing. He's like, I don't remember anybody's birthday. I remember your birthday and that's it. So shout out Tim Cobbett, day two. Um, it is brought to you by SeatGeek. If all your ticket needs, download the app. You get $20 back on your first order. They will either send that to you via PayPal. They sometimes send a check. We've been working them forever. Um, Pat McAfee, coincidentally, almost ruined the entire relationship because he freaked yesterday because he thought Seeky dropped him as an advertiser. He just didn't really understand how ads work quite yet, but we talked him off a cliff. So Seeky, glad everything's good. Use the code RUNDOWN, you get $20 back. I'm fading here, I'm sliding backwards. Um, $20 back, Seeky, download the app. Again, RUNDOWN. Okay, uh, first up, is it fucking loud in here? It's very yep. loud in here. Definitely loud. It's, it's page that views. Corner over there. It's YP making his documentary. Hey, 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 young page views, keep it down. Thank you. Like, we're doing a live show over here. Um, so, new power couple, A Rod, J Lo. I don't know if they are a power couple. You rewind the clock, maybe. I don't think A Rod can be involved in a power couple. I think he's too much of a weird loser. I don't know. At this he just point. got hired as like he's uh, he's actually more likable now than he's ever been. That is true. Now that he's just fully doing the broadcasting thing, I can I can understand that. I'll agree with that. I take it back. Okay, so that was a quick reversal. Yeah. Fortune. I mean, I forgot that how was, I forgot how quick. I forgot how likable he's been recently. Like now that he's done like, being a, a dick. Rod Corp. He's got like a million baseballs he just signed last week. But I feel like when you date Madonna and all like the trannies that he dated, you're not power couple material. Who's the power player in this relationship? A Rod or J Lo? J Lo. I, a strong yeah. disagree. Yeah, I'd say A Rod now. Like I said, he's, he's like as popular as he's ever been. When I first saw it, too, I mean, a 47 year old J Lo is like perfect girlfriend for A Rod, I thought. A, like, a Rod, a -Rod has the weirdest girlfriends of all time. Yeah, that's you know, what I heard. But I don't think J Lo fits that mold. I do. You have too much street she's cred. She's 47. Like, of and course she fits not, in there now. He said today. I don't think age makes that, you as weird as like Madonna. Jennifer Lopez. Well, the trannies and stuff. Well, no, but. Do you remember the pictures when he, was, he had just like. Bodybuilders and trannies like hanging in trees. Yeah, he had like a whole. J Lo's like, not on that level of, of fucking monkey trannies. Mm. Um, Come on, give my girl a little bit of credit. Jenny girls. from the block. He said today that he thinks Jennifer Lopez is better looking now than when she was a fly girl, which is like insane. It's not. I think she's aging very well. Back when she uh, was on on uh, in lemon color with like short hair and she was pale and weird looking. She was never she's just not pale. Yeah, she was. I think you're a little backwards here. I, yeah, I he mean, also said that he doesn't think fucking um, Jessica Biel's pretty. No, I said that Justin Timberlake could do better than her. Which is an outlandish thing to say since she's one of the most beautiful women ever to walk the face of the earth. Overrated. Yeah, but he could get anybody. That's tough. He's the, but he's she not is like anybody. Who are you gonna, how are you going to do better than Jessica Biel? You can do better. Who? Find someone who's not all jacked and not boring. She wasn't jacked. I, 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 she is jacked. Again, I saw her in person, and I've seen a lot of pretty women in person. She's the most gorgeous person I've ever seen. She took out her Cupid's bow and shredded my heart with it. I've never seen anything quite like it. She was gorgeous. I stalked her out of the bar, all my friends. I, I still think you're just you're knocking J-Lo a little too much here. She's not as weird as the other girls. She is weird, and if she, she wasn't weird, she weird, she wouldn't be dating A-Rod. Why is she weird? It's like almost I, a proven fact well, that she's weird. Well, now that you date A-Rod, yes, but... Prior to this, there was no reason to think she's a weirdo. I always thought she's a little off. Not in my pocket. It's just okay. We good? And on that note, we'll go to the next story. Okay. Perfect segue. Yeah. Technical difficulties. So a guy with schizophrenia murdered his mother, his philanthropist mother, and got 3.2. By the, by the way, before we move on, you sent the email for J Lo. You spent. You spelled it J L O W E. That's a little weird. Yeah. Like her name was Jennifer Lowe. Like Rob Like Rob well, Lowe. I, I, I'm gonna be, <laughs> That's so, a little ridiculous, even for you. It took me a second. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I'm going to be honest. I've never understood how to spell her nickname. Is it J-L-O? Yes. I didn't know that. Come on. I did not know Why that. would it be L-O-W-E? But why, why, and this is like when Lopez, people. Lopez, it's short for Lopez. J, Jennifer, Lowe, Lopez, Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo. It's because, like, well, there's a couple factors. First, everyone It's the so easiest nickname in the world. It's literally L-O. <laughs> Am I allowed to talk? This is also like when you couldn't figure out Ray J. You used to say Roger. <laughs> this is, though, for people who think that I, like, messed stuff up because I didn't even know I spelled it like that and it's not supposed to be, like, on the show that we're talking about it. I also... Did you write it down that way? 
<laughs> what? That Same time way. it's actually L O W. It's not even the E. <laughs> I, I mean, just never know. When, I never know when to cut it off. It's also I don't want to make excuse, but Derek Lowe, D Lowe, D L O W E. I get it. The name's different. That's how I did it. J Lo from the block. Whatever. Um, schizo murder. So he murdered his mother. He gets 3.2 million awarded from his mother. It's his mother's money, by the way. Mm -hmm. He got the inheritance. I'm actually totally fine with this because his mother, I'm guessing, if you asked her, I was going to say man to man, but International Women's Day was yesterday, so we'll say Shout woman to, to woman. If, like, my schizo son's going to murder me, which I can't control, that's happening, do you want him to get the money? She'd be like, yes, he has a problem. I want him to have the money. So I have no problem with that. And we also said, Riggs, I'll throw this question. I'm going to go to KFC I have, next. I have my answer, by the way. I figured it okay. out. Okay. So we I'm think this kid's curious. never going to end up with the money because he's crazy. So someone's going to, like, dirty, rotten scoundrels him. Somebody's going to meet him and, and slowly swindle him out of his money. Do you think somebody planted the whole thing? Nope. Was... No, I don't think someone planned the murder. But now that he's got the money, he's a mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, so if you, in this office, who would you send... To dirty route to basically swindle them out of that money. I, the answer, by the way, is very obvious. I'm surprised we didn't think of it. I know. Um, I think Caleb would be very good at it. PFT. No, he'd be pretty good too. He's just clever, and I, you know, I feel like he could. He's clever and sneaky in a way, but people always like like him a lot. So I feel like he could get away with a lot, and he's very trustworthy. I'm sending Lou in there. No. Uh, Lewis, uh, Lewis would be the Lewis, last person. Lewis will come out with that money. I promise you that. Lewis, Lewis will find a way to squeeze every penny out of that crazy no, schizophrenic. Lewis is a sales guy, but he'd show up, and even the schizo would be like, this guy's selling me. Yeah, like, I think he just <laughs> right, he wears it all on his sleeve. Yeah. Like, he's, yeah, he's a full sales bore guy. ahead. Yeah, yeah Caleb, that's why I like Caleb. He's like, oh, I'm your friend. Let's talk about you being a schizo, and how about you sign over all your money to me? I honestly think that could happen. By, By the way, way, do you have a problem with him getting the money? Yeah, I kind of do. I think there just needs to be a... A pat, like a rule across the board, if you murder someone, you don't get to inherit their money. But do you think the mother would be like, take the money? Who I, cares? What's we need to have fucking money. rules in society here. It's like, <laughs> you can't give money to the murderer. So she said, like, he's total schizo, anything could happen, he gets the money because he needs it? Well, she's I guess dead. if you sign it up on your but will But she said like that, beforehand, though. I'm saying. Because yeah. I'm wondering, like, is his schizo, is no, it just no, like he, a cover? He, no, from what I understand, he was found are like... Tough. Schizo, you can't be held responsible I, I for the I think if murder. you get found, yeah, he's found criminally insane. You can't fake that type of schizo to be proven. I mean, insane. when you're getting, we're not going to look at that angle. He's getting three something million dollars because he killed from just, the person that he killed. I just don't think it's that easy. Schizos like, like a lot tough. more. Schizos I think a lot tough. more they people just, like, start swearing in public and stuff. It's like, I would, they get away with If I with could do it, I would murder Dave and pretend to be schizo. I just don't think I. You, I'll I mean, it's hard to say. Pull off. Yeah. I know a lot about a lot of things. I know nothing about schizophrenia. The only things I know about is his movies. Right. So. That's why they're tough to go out. I don't know. I don't Lorenzo Ball versus Barkley. Oh, Lorenzo's Ball's dad, actually, versus Barkley. He's kind of fighting the news. So Lorenzo's Ball's basically said his kid is going to be better than Steph Curry. If you took Steph Curry out of the Golden State, they wouldn't change. Chuck basically said, you're crazy. It's insane to say that. And they just went back and forth, back and forth. He actually defended it on Colin Coward. Uh, we'll start with you, Riggs. What do you got on Lorenzo Ball versus... Lorenzo Ball's dad versus Charles. I mean, Barkley. how many of these are we going to see where the athlete's dad, you know, goes ham, goes to bat for his son? That's what you do. That's what you do for the minute they're fucking born. I don't know why it's a fucking story every time. Of course they do that. They get away with it. You should be able to get away with it. You're the dad. Like, if you don't say that, like, you, yeah, as but, a kid, you your dad's your guy. It. Your dad's got your back no matter what. My goes dad to would war. never say anything remotely well, similar you're an asshole to, about me. I don't think my you dad would say mean. that I'm better than Steph Curry. Well, He'd you're be... not a fucking world class athlete. Like, at that point, in order to get to that point, the dad's been pumping him the bat. Like, yeah. look at the Tiger Woods thing. Always oh, seen I, these types of dads forever. I agree with that, but this is so ridiculous. And you don't, you, if, if, if someone's coming at your son, you respond that way. But for him to go out and make these comments, it's like you're doing more harm to Lorenzo Ball than help. I, I mean, it definitely puts him in a tough spot, but again, it, ha it this shit happens all the time. I, don't, I just don't think it should be like that big of a story, and they're blowing it out like Barkley responds, and then we got to talk about it. It's a dad going to bat for his son saying he's going to be the best, saying he'll be the greatest of all time. Who cares? He can say whatever the fuck he wants. He's a dad. That's what dads do. Riggs, did you hear, and before we go to the second break, did you hear I, that an image that I now have in my head that makes me laugh at night that we talked about? <laughs> There's a cartoon made oh, about it. Oh, this is unbelievable. Did you hear about it? No. I have this image of you. I'm very curious. About it, I you're not. I don't think you're going to be happy about of this. Of you taking your eyeballs out when you go to sleep and putting them in a glass case. <laughs> and then like, when you wake up, you put them back in. I don't know why. It's been making me laugh lately. Why did you bring I that up Milmore, now? Did Milmore make a cartoon about that? 
Someone told me Millmore made a cartoon about that. I'm sorry, that was a low blow. Uh, what the made you rundown, think of that now? Just I was looking at your eyes. Uh, <laughs> my eyes don't come out of my head. They're just, <laughs> Thanks for yeah. <laughs> yeah. actually, they're it in got there. so bad there was a legitimate conversation like, well, if he could do that, he wouldn't put the cross-eyed ones back in. So that I'd was put a, in like normal ones, yeah, right. like good ones. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was brought to you. What are we talking about again? Oh, okay. <laughs> Taking your eyes out of your head. Uh, sports Action app. Use the uh, promo code RUNDOWN and you will get one free trial of the pro subscription, which has features like parlay tracking, hedge opportunities, and more. Big Cat uses the shit out of this app. He loves it. If you, were, if you would stop being such a pussy and come out of retirement, you would use it too. Nope. I, I would if I gambled, which is a vice that I don't recommend for the kids at it's home. It's a sin. But Big Cat does it, and he uses it. It's a great gambling app. You need it. It keeps you updated all the games. Obviously, we have the tournament in full swing. Well, this week is actually sneaky the best gambling week of the year because there's games every two seconds. And then obviously the real tournament starts next week. Shout out to our Bud Light guys. We're going to all have the uh, bracket busters, Bud Light busters, and figure out who gets to go to Vegas. Somebody sent me a chart. Surprisingly low. Two, Average is like 2.4 two to three. Uh, 2 teams of those seeds make it through. Yeah, so if you missed it, we're going to do a draft on Tuesday here where everybody gets a team that is their team. And if you make it to the Sweet 16 round two, Barstool, we're doing a Barstool trip to Vegas, all expenses paid, club, the whole work. So a lot on the line, a lot on the line for that, hopefully more. And we'll see how many people. We're, I think we're only doing 10 through 16 seeds. We may do nines, not 100% sure on that. We gotta look at how many people can qualify for this. Some loud music on the side note. Um, this is my favorite story actually of the day. I, I, I always love plane stories because I hate traveling, so everything resonates with me. But an old dude, like a 65 year old dude on a Hawaii flight, uh, caused the plane to be diverted because he asked for a blanket and they said the blanket cost $12. And he freaked out. First of all, I love all his lines. He said, I want to talk to corporate. Like who says that when you're on a plane? Like, all right, so I want to talk to corporate. I don't think they put him through, and he just told everybody that he's going to take them to the woodshed. That's an which unbelievable is another guy line. Awesome it's line. Such like, a perfect oh, you won't put me through to corporate at like 100,000 feet? I'm going to take. By the way, do we have any idea how high planes go? 30,000. 30,000. Yeah. 30, I know that was a wild guess. Um, Close. I couldn't agree with a human more than this guy. What? What? Fuck this guy. No, here's the thing. Somewhere in between on this one. I'm going to be middleman KFC. Here, here, here's my thing. I hate getting charged extras when I already paid a significant fee for anything. Like, you know what? Don't charge you, me for snacks. Just put, build it all in. If I, if, unless you're on Spirit, which so is what's trash. what's the fucking difference? If, you're, but, if your plane ticket was just $12 more? Then you can get anything you want. Once, it's like, once you pay your fee, it should be everything you want in there. Even the hotels, I don't like what they do that. Don't charge me for the M&Ms. Charge me Look, an extra like 50 bucks and I can get whatever I want. We've been doing the flying thing forever. We've been doing it for a long time now. Show up with your shit. Anything that you don't have, it, they're going to supply and demand you. They're going to fucking crank it up. $12 isn't even that much. It's not like it's like a $40 blanket. It's the it's principle. It's $12. Show up. You know how to fly. If you have a problem with it at this point, you create a scene, a diversion over a $12 blanket. Go fuck yourself. It's yeah. flying. It's going to be miserable. The flight. I don't like diverting the flight, flight but I agree with him that if I pay like $300 for a ticket, you shouldn't be nickeling and diming for $12 blanket. Show up, it's flying. You show up with everything. You don't talk to anybody. You don't look at anybody. You give your ticket. You've got like your headphones. You got your weird pillow or whatever. If you got your blanket, you fucking buy a new one. Show up with your stuff. You don't have it. You can't yeah. bitch. You can't divert a fucking flight. That's on you. The guy, how old is the guy? He's flown before. Bring a Mid blanket 60s. or buy one. It's I like, agree with you on the diversion. But what do you think about the concept of all in versus like nickel and dime? But I, I don't think you can just charge for assuming everyone's going to consume everything. If I don't want a fucking blanket, I don't want to eat the M&Ms. Then they I don't should wanna... offer two types of tickets. Uh, like, a, like an open bar. Of like an all-in, and, and get... then like you're gonna, we're going to nickel and dime your face off. Again, on principle, I agree. But like we've been, it's like he's flown before. He knows. It's how it works. They fuck you. They charge everything. They charge you to like bring a carry-on nowadays. They're going to charge you for a blanket. Hotels that... You, you rock the blanket on the plane? No, I can, just, I can sleep weird. anywhere. I can like fall asleep anywhere. It's a weird thing to be I can't, really fired I can't up about. I can fall asleep it. at all. Yeah, I sleep um, all the time. All right, a little disagreement there. ACC tourney going on. Let me preface this by saying it's at the Barclays Center. The Barclays Center, we know the guys who run it. They reached out. They're like, if any games you guys want to come. So I like the Barclays Center. I'm a fan of the Barclays Center. I like them. It is outrageous to me that the ACC, it, it bothers me on like a, a primal level that I can't get over. You won't shut the fuck up about it. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I think it's left over from the Big East being like dismantled. Yeah. But 
I don't. The ACC is tobacco road. It's it's North Carolina. It's Duke. It's NC State. You got Georgia Tech. You got Virginia. You got Virginia Tech. All those teams. Yeah, you have Syracuse here. And by the way, Syracuse chirp, uh, but Bayheim chirped, being like, "There's nothing good about playing." The ACC tournament, I think, in Charlotte. And Charlotte said, you're right, it doesn't matter where you lose in the first round. So they went back at him. But ACC basketball, that's a big fucking deal. Like, that tournament's a big deal for those people in Charlotte and around there. It should not, it's not an East Coast thing. It drives me nuts. The only tournament should be the Big East at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And it should have all the well, original and that's, teams. that's really my point is that, like, that, it just shows how far the Big East has fallen after the dismantling. Because this would never happen. There would never be another major conference tournament in the same city as the Big East. It, it's, it's college just, basketball in general. It's ruined. It's Cha championship sickening. week, the Big East tournament, and to a lesser degree, the ACC tournament. Obviously, it wasn't the real. But it was like you had to pay attention how to the Big East tournament. How did that happen? How football. did this happen? Football. All football? All football. That's fucked, Because man. all the independents, like right. UConn and Georgetown and right. St. John's and Villanova, but like, don't have football. The fuck? Yeah. I mean, this is basically the week where I start watching basketball, so I don't... It's, what I, I do really, you do? You don't watch football. He golfs. I do. I'm the politics and golf guy. Golf is on, like, four days a week. Yeah, that's a lot. You gotta be up on it, and then that, I was, mean, that I, was a bad argument by you. Not really. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What's he doing? Work hours. What am I doing? Uh, golfing. Work? Forgot. My bad. I, re I retract the question. You're actually golfing. When you're not watching golf on the weekends, you're golfing during bu bu uh, business hours. I mean, I don't just sit. Down. I don't find regular season basketball games. They just. I've tried. I don't like show basketball. I'm not one of those hardos. But you like, don't like football, football either, sucks. right? You no, like football I love guy. football. I'm big into football. Huge Saints fan. Go Saints. I just. <laughs> I don't really. I don't get that into college basketball until it's, you know, it matters. They play a billion fucking games. It's Are you teams make the up turn. on college basketball now that you retired? Not nearly, retired? Yeah, not I mean, nearly what I if was. If you don't gamble and you're dies. older now, it's like, impo like I feel like I'm so I mean, out of the loop. When I was younger, uh, I, even, I even though to, I didn't gamble when I was younger, I still used to follow it so intently. Now I'm like clueless. When I gambled, I would be from 7 to probably like 1 a.m. Know the score of every single game, every single night. Yeah. Couldn't sleep and basically in a nightmare. Like yeah, that's losing what all your money. Yeah. That's what, and I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't understand. That's a big I cat. You I, can tell big cat comes in and he's in a bad mood. It's like he's doing bad gambling. Yeah, and that's why I can understand being full up on it. I'm just not into it. If I were gambling, I'd be fucking all over that shit. But, yeah. um, last one that we got, Brie Larson versus Casey Affleck. So Brie Larson handed the... My girl. What? Love Brie Larson. You love Brie Larson? Love her. It's kind of a fraud move here. So she handed yeah, the, the Oscar to Casey Affleck, who I get... Casey Affleck's in trouble for a sexual assault of some sort. I'm assuming... This is not like he hasn't been convicted. There's a lot of innuendo, a lot of rumors. I think he did a settlement, maybe. There's one. There was like a, a charge already in like 2010 that I think is settled, but I think this is all new shit. Okay, so he, this is you never understand. Like, I, if it's real, it's not getting enough, I guess, publicity. I don't know what's going on. But Brie Larson handed him the Oscar at the Oscars, did not clap for him, and now is saying she she was on like Kelly Ripa says so she doesn't even remember being at the Oscars. Like she doesn't remember the ceremony. Weird. I mean, that's, that's, I, mean, I think she's lying. I mean, yeah. I think she had to give Casey Affleck the Oscar. And if you she believe she's in it. She's a scumbag. And if you believe. And that's her out. Yeah, if you believe in it that strongly, then don't give him the Oscar. That's kind of a coward's way out to like hug it and kiss it and give the Oscar. And then be like, did I don't she, remember did that. Did she do all that? Or she well, she gave it to him. him. She should I mean, spike that you, shit. You can't not give a dude. Yes, you the can. Academy if you have morals. Decides. Well, yeah, well, you knew you. It wasn't like what, a, what a shocker that. Yeah, but. She, she had to know that was a chance. Right. Is it, I think you just have to give someone their Oscar. I guess my point oh. is if you're going to take this moral line in the sand where you don't clap and then you say you don't even remember it, you blacked out, and you know you're giving this award that he has a very good chance of winning, you may want to pre-plan that. Also, hilariously ambiguous statement from him. His statement was like all what over the map. What did he say? He was like, <laughs> was there was some direct quote that was like, nothing I can do about it now. It was bad. It was like, I really don't think bad things should be done to people, but I, I can't do anything about it. So also nobody should do anything about it. It was like, it was weird. It was not a it good statement. So he's just a sense. weirdo? Uh, I think so. I mean, it's, uh, some of the allegations are pretty, it, it's not getting enough play. I'm surprised. Yeah, right. Like he crawled into bed with chicks when they were drunk. He was I like screaming at them for not having sex with them. I don't think that's, uh, that's frowned upon in this yeah, society. Yeah, it's, uh, morally and legally oh, the, wrong. And then one thing he did was he would make dudes on the set that he was directing whip their dicks out. It's another weird habit. I think that's a little more <laughs> locker room talk sort of thing. Like, Just like. But, but the crawling into bed and intimidating girls into having sex is a little weird. Like, yeah, Sean, take your dick out. Like, that's what he was doing? Basically. He would, like, make production assistants do that. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, he's a weirdo. <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's a weird move. Yeah, I mean, I can believe his statement now. That's it was a weird fucking statement. I didn't. Weird I read guy. it like three times. I have no idea what he was trying to say. So it's a weird fucking. He statement. better be right with the statement like that. Like, yeah. There better be no truth because you can't he's release like, something eh. like that and be super guilty or you're fucked. Right. All right. Is there? I feel like there was something post show, but I don't remember what it was. So I don't know how to really segue that into a topic. That's quality hosting. That was good stuff. Yeah, that was I really think nice. think there was a topic, but I don't remember it, so we're not going to do it. Just scanning to see if we actually have something to talk about. There's no huge drama from the radio or anything like that today that you want to... Mm. The big drama is KFC saving Jessica Biel was not attractive. Uh, not attractive enough for Justin Timberlake. And I stand by that. It, it and they literally keep showing put me this to picture. stun silence. They keep showing like, the latest picture that he put on Instagram of her, and they're acting like she's like, I mean, that's not fucking. Let me see the, what picture you're referring to. It's not the hottest picture I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm like, the, Robbie Fox is like coming his pants. I'm well, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's hey, just not a good picture. She has big fangs. Yeah, she she's doesn't look good. Whatever. I don't want to, it's like just almost saying, infuriating just, to hear this discussion, so I don't want to go into it again. Um, that's the rundown. That's what you do when you lose an argument. Yeah, did not. That's the rundown. <laughs>